Hey guys, the name is Chris Barachi. Welcome to Guitar Tweaks. A couple of weeks ago, I made a video on capacitors. Capacitors for guitars' tone knobs. I compared a vintage style paper and oil capacitor from Mojo Tone to a more modern and simple orange drop. Both officially rated 22 nanofarads, which is something you would see in humbucker and P9 loaded guitars most of the time. I didn't measure the capacitors in that video and a lot of you guys criticized that in the comments. I will measure both of the capacitors. I want to read one of the comments which was really interesting, I want to talk about it for a sec, and I have a plus one. Something that's also been mentioned in the comments and it got me interested so now I really want to try it out and show it to you guys. <laughs> Alright, first let's talk about the comment that came under the video, the capacitor comparison video, which I found really interesting and um, I asked uh, Super Pup, who wrote the comment, if I can mention him and uh, he told he's an electrical engineer. So, what he wrote was, different capacitors absolutely can impact different sonic characteristics. Try putting in a tantalum cap and you should find your attack is now squishy and rubbery. Given the way capacitors work, acting a bit like a spring or a sponge, the attack is likely to change a bit more than just the frequencies that the cap allows to pass through it. Which can then affect the harmonics, which then can affect what we perceive as tone. And that's exactly what I wanted to find out in the video. That's one of the reasons actually why I didn't measure the capacitors, especially not on camera, because well, let's talk about that part a little later. Before I say anything else, let's measure the two capacitors. I'm pretty sure you guys want to know it as well. And uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be interesting. Okay, let's do this. Here's my multimeter. Let me turn on the, uh, the lights for the display. And we can start with the orange drop. Why not? Okay, that's pretty accurate. It's 22.25 nanofarad. Mm -hmm. Now let's check out the vitamin T, the uh, paper and oil mojo tone. Now look at that. It's 21.87, which means that it's, uh, it rates lower. It's not exactly 22. It's a little bit less, 21.87, compared to... 22.25 nanofarad on the uh, on the orange drop. Yeah, which is really interesting actually because this one, the paper and oil, was only 21.87, so just under 22 nanofarad, and this one, the orange drop, was just 
above, like 22.25 nanofarad, which means that this should close the tone more. This should make it more dull sounding than this one. Interesting enough, I didn't hear that at all. Actually, this had the smoother top end on tone 10, so when the tone was open, and it also made the guitar's tone with the tone knob at zero just a little, I don't know, maybe less nasal, maybe more articulate, but that's very subjective, so I wouldn't say better, just different. Now, when I read those numbers on the multimeter and uh, think of, of the comment I just read a couple of minutes ago, it makes all the sense. A capacitor is not just about its capacitance. It has a lot more to it and actually can influence the uh, attack of the notes, the, uh, the overall feeling, the harmonics that it, it lets pass through, etc. It's just a different experience. My reasons for not measuring the caps in the original video? Well, first of all, I was not interested in finding out which of these two will make the guitar's tone more dull at tone zero, like tone knob at zero or something. That would be, of course, heavily affected by the exact value of the cap capacitors. I wasn't really interested in that. What I wanted to hear is how the EQ changes, how the sponginess, the initial attack changes, all of those things. And of course, if the tone of the guitar changes with the knob set to 10, so open, as open as it gets. And uh, interesting enough, it did change. And now that I measured them, it's even more interesting because it should have been the other way around. I would expect the paper and oil to have more top end, just a little bit, and uh, more clarity, even at uh, a knob setting of, of 10. It wasn't the case. Obviously, if you missed the first video, I'll put a link in the description box and up here in the corner as well. Go and check it out, otherwise you cannot really understand the references. And the second reason for not measuring the caps in the original video was that I didn't want to put the exact values in focus too much. If I had measured them, everyone would have had those exact numbers, those measurements uh, on their minds, and that would have seriously affected the perception. So it was basically a blind test where we all had the chance to concentrate on what we are hearing without having those numbers influencing us. One more thing, since we're digging this deep, I want to figure out if the capacitor's orientation changes the tone of the guitar. You guys mentioned this in the comments, and I know that these things have a polarity. And if wired the wrong way around, in an amplifier, for example, it can pick up more hum and interference. But since guitar circuitries are so simple, and in most cases even passive, which is very different than an amplifier, I'm not that convinced if that makes any difference. But hey, let's find it out. I recorded some playing with the paper and oil cap in one direction, and I marked that direction with a red V for volume pot. So now I'll install it the other way around and play the same thing.
Okay, I'm really looking forward to seeing what you guys heard. Because honestly, right now I had to obviously put out, like turn the capacitor in order to play the same lick again. So again, it's going to be nice to edit this video that I have the chance to have a direct comparison, like an actual AB between the capacitor pointing at one direction or the other way around. I don't know, maybe there's something. I, I kind of prefer the first one, but that's probably just placebo. I don't know, I have to listen to the recording as told. But I kind of had the feeling that the uh, the noise of the P90 with the drive on in the overdriven comparison was a, a little bit louder. We'll see, I have to edit the video first and then I can maybe put some editor's comments here in this dark area as usually <laughs> and obviously we'll see each other down there in the comment section where we can discuss everything what we've heard and what matters or not take it easy we'll meet down there in the comment section and see each other next week in a new video i'll be back bye bye